Good morning, internet. It's still morning. It is three minutes till 12. So technically it's still morning. I am in my lovely no makeup state at the moment. I just realized I wasn't wearing makeup and I still have my glasses on. Anyways, I thought I would vlog this weekend. It's Saturday because today I'm heading out to a wedding and then tomorrow I'm celebrating Jimmy's birthday. So it's kind of like a weekend where I'm doing stuff and I figured it might be interesting to some people but mostly I just felt like vlogging it because it is a special occasion wedding of one of my good friends and then a birthday of another really good friend I'm just waiting for Tobias to meet me here he's driving in at the moment so hopefully when he gets here we can take off the wedding is almost two hours no it's more like one and a half hours out of Melbourne it's in a place called Penny Royal so I've never been there before. I know it is north of the Otway Ranges, which I've also never been before, so what do I know? Um, but yeah, should be an interesting day. I just feel like really sad right now. I don't know what to say. I'm kind of frazzled at the moment because we got into kind of a minor car accident on the drive here. I'll show you the damage. We're fine, by the way, so that's all good. Unfortunately, just minor. We're very lucky, but the car I have is like pretty much brand new. I got it two weeks ago and I'm just really shattered. <laughs> but um, so I called the insurance company, called the repairs, everything. So it's sorted, but I just feel bummed out. Bummed out. And I didn't really have time to vlog because then I had to get ready. As you can see, well, like adult looking now but I wanted to show you guys the view before we went this is the view from the bedroom well pretty much the room it's, it's a massive like studio but how amazing is it I'm kind of sad we're only here for like one day because it's so the nice the view is really epic I reckon like sunrise and sunset here yeah. would be beautiful I think we'll try and do a time lapse or something later yeah, I think that'd be great but this place I mean ignore all the mess that we've introduced but it's really spacious it, it's massively spacious, very it's modern, beautiful. very clean. Yeah, it's like a really good find. It's I'm so really, glad we stayed here. It's a really nice spot. Yeah, but uh, we need to get going. <laughs> so we'll see. I'll show you guys what I mean about the car damage. <laughs> so this is the damage. Um, it's been wrapped up now, thankfully. So um, Tobias and the people who are hosting us, who are so nice, wrapped it up so it wouldn't get um, further damage with rain or debris but basically the shell of this has fallen off the framing has all cracked the light has been taken out and then dent here so basically what happened is that we were driving down the freeway towards Geelong and um, some I, I don't we didn't see the car that actually dropped it but some car must have dropped some debris onto the road because right in the middle of one of the lanes was kind of like a really small baby mattress and this really big plastic garbage bag full of stuff um, but anyways so we're in the middle lane and then the car on the left drives over it I think they were trying to dodge it and then they figured because they were like a ute or four-wheel drive they thought uh, we'll just risk it and so they drove over it but by doing that it flew both of them up in the air and it flew them to the right hand side which is where we are so I tried to dodge the mattress because I didn't want to run over it because I figured if I ran any over any of it we'd be in a lot of trouble so I ended up dodging the mattress but the garbage bag which must have had something really hard in it basically hit the left side of the car and did the damage Spiked the mirror yeah yes but I called the insurance company and they said that it was not my fault obviously so they said it'd be covered but um, I don't think they're gonna let me pick who fixes the car and I have a very specific place in mind that I want to go to so I'm gonna go there and just see what the price is gonna be like and then take it from there I'm just glad that we're okay and it could have been so much worse like if I had driven over any of that debris I feel like we probably wouldn't be here right now or if it gone punctured a wheel going yeah, at like 100 yeah, kilometers an hour it could have gone a lot worse yeah, than losing so. a rear mirror and that's kind of like this is touch wood I don't have wood around me touch some paper touch wood that this is the first car accident I've ever been in and I've been driving for over 15 years now so I feel really lucky that it wasn't anything worse than that so anyways happy thoughts now because we're going to the wedding I'm gonna see all my friends so I just want to be in a good mood for it
way home. It's uh, 11.30 at night now. Wedding was awesome. I had so much fun. Did you enjoy yourself? No, the wedding was really great. It was yeah. superbly organized. Yeah, it really, really nice. Was. Just relaxed and friendly. And yeah. Probably one of the best weddings we've been to. But now we are driving home. Well, not home. Just to the place we're staying. In thick fog. Like patches of fog. I'm not sure if you guys can see. Like Pop up. Maybe. I don't know. The focus is... Yeah, okay, I, I don't know if you can tell. Okay, there. Yeah, you guys can, I don't know if you can really tell, but it's kind of thick fog. It's not very obvious on the camera, but there was, uh, there's a bus further up in front, and when you see it through the fog, it is creepy as, it's kind of like Silent Hill. Yeah, it's like just the red back lines of yeah, the bus just a red going glow. through the dark. It's pretty cool. But yeah, this is pretty much what we're driving through for the next 40 minutes or so. So, and because we're so far away from civilization, the reception's not so great. So it's a little bit of a struggle to try and figure out how to get home, but it's an adventure. Yeah. Oh my gosh, look, it's a kangaroo. A oh, it's big, gone in the bushes. Big kangaroo. Wow, he was like right in front of our vehicle just then. Yeah, that was huge. so cool. Check out this view. It's so pretty. We actually did wake up for sunrise, but it wasn't as strong. I mean, you can see it kind of on the horizon over there. We're trying to take some time lapse. If it works, you would have seen it. If not, better luck next time. We are going away next weekend, and I'll vlog that too, so hopefully we'll have better luck. But I don't think the view is going to be as good as this place. I think this is a pretty unique situation. This is no joke, the view sitting in bed right now. <laughs> we're actually sitting, yeah, li we're literally sitting in bed and this is the view. It's pretty epic. <laughs> yeah, I think this is probably one of the best views to like literally wake up to. Yeah, like literally wake up to this view. I just didn't expect it to be this amazing. Time. Packed everything. Look, it this is like what it kind of looked like when we didn't mess it all up with our stuff. Yeah, well, we did, we did clean it up. Quite yeah, I think it's all right. Yeah, Time to go. Time to go. Bye bye, view. Bye bye, view. A nice place. And off we go back to Melbourne. and also your boyfriend and we're holding them hostage and now we're going on a road trip without you. Road Wherever trip. we go, maybe we'll get cheese. I don't Sucks know where they're going to make me drive. <laughs> Shut up and keep driving. <laughs> no one said you could talk. <laughs> I don't see no gun in your hand. <laughs> There's one in my handbag, damn it. Okay, so where should we go first? I'm thinking we do all of your favorite things today without you. Cheese, shopping, that's all I've got. <laughs> well, Enjoy watching us do all of those things and we will see you later. Hello, good people of Fables and Fashion. So we are, uh, we've decided where we're taking, taking Toby take us. Yeah, it's not my choice anymore. Nope. I've uh, got the gun. We've got the gun. <laughs> he doesn't know it's not a real gun. Damn it! <laughs> Why would you ruin this for me? He doesn't know that it is a real gun that we're calling a finger. <laughs> Nice safe. Saved, yeah, exactly. So classy. We've kidnapped him still. Yes. Yeah. Um, and it's we're on our way man. to fake steak ministry. <laughs> to fake, fake, fake ministry. Fake gun ministry. <laughs> uh, we're gonna rob a bank on the way too, because why not? I mean, how else will we pay for steak ministry? Of course. Uh, and we're going to pick up Fables and Fashion on the way. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. She can, she can, maybe, maybe. <laughs> she, she can pay for the steaks. <laughs> yeah. And some real guns. Yes! <laughs> Sounds like an awesome afternoon. Really good idea. Gonna bring them in. <laughs> Dear Fables, please bring real guns. Thank you. Uh, uh, anything else? Hostage no, Toby? No, no. <laughs> We're good? I, I, I think that's good. It covers everything? Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Nobody said you could talk. <laughs> <laughs> So we've decided where Toby's taking us. Uh, we're going to Germany so we can go to nude beaches. Yeah, like Jimmy needs another reason to take his clothes off. <laughs> yes, yes he does. <laughs> hey, we can have the camera mounted here and then we can just take over the show. That'd be great. Good idea. Hello. Then you host. Stay tuned. Stay, stay tuned. <laughs> stay tuned, yes, stay tuned for more. You can't see it from here. Oh wait, is this a zoom lens? Yes. Yeah, zoom lens. 
We're gonna get one dollar ice creams without you, Selena. Yeah. How you like me now? <laughs> Not a whole lot, I imagine. And so I'm sitting in the back and I'm knitting a black beret. Because why not? I would, I would walk 5,000 miles and I would walk 500 more Just to be the man who walks 1,000 miles to put it at your door If you had to be half snake, would you rather be half snake on the top with a snake head or would you rather be half snake on the bottom with a snake torso tail thing? I feel like being half yeah. snake in the head would be better. Yeah, yeah, because then you can walk you, around yeah. and tell and, people it was a mask. And, and yet you'd like to be too stupid to realize anything else. Also, That's true. <laughs> snakes can hear really well, and you could unhinge your jaw to eat an entire wheel of cheese. That's true. Or chase mice all day. But do I I'm, have the intelligence of a human, or do I have snake brain? Oh, probably. Sna that, that's what I figured, right? If you have yeah. snake on top, you have snake brain. Mm, so you'd probably true. be happy all the time because you'd be too stupid to realize otherwise. That's true. You'd wonder why you have legs, though. And okay, what if you had a human brain? But you'd be uh, the best. Selena, snake Selena probably wouldn't use this anymore. So we are here for Jimmy's birthday, and we are the plebs. Because Jimmy has got special treatment and he is taking photos because of his it's steak. Because it's his steak. <laughs> it's his steak. So he gets to take photos of it. So when it gets here, we're all going to pretend that we're going to eat it, then we're not going to eat any and we can finish the whole two kilos. Sounds good. Outside. It's so pretty! <laughs> the only thing you're missing is a photo where you're hugging the steak. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a photo for you. It's all these juices. Hey guys, so that's pretty much the end of the vlog. This is me several months in the future. In fact, it's me a few days before I actually upload this video. But I never closed out the vlog and I realized I probably should. So I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Thanks, Vanna Jimmy, for your very sweet messages I, that I only discovered a few months later after editing this vlog. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So hope you guys have an awesome weekend. This is Lena reporting from my room. Back to you, internet.